noticed my paint brushes, since they've been in a bag with my paints, because I didn't have anything else. Most of these are new. I wasn't really into painting. You know, I keep crafting with clay. So I kind of need my paint brushes to work. And they're getting bent and distorted. And um, I just, I don't appreciate that. And especially when it's a, a fine tip. Where is the camera? And it's a fine tip and it gets these frayed edges that's I hate that so we're gonna make a really really quick paintbrush holder out of some scrap fabric so, nice quick video for you today so I decided on <clears throat> this I guess it'll be like Halloween themed but that's just out of necessity I just have a whole bunch of Halloween scraps. I couldn't resist. They were on sale last year. Dollar store. Um, I would have preferred, I think, to use this canvas. But this is a whole uncut chili bag. And I feel like I want to save that for a project where I can use it for the whole thing without, without cutting it up or anything. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. But. And then I have this gray fabric. I got from <clears throat> I think it was wrapped around our mattress when we got our mattress online um, but it's really stiff and I don't think I want it that stiff I miss my old one it was canvas it's back home in storage so and I have this felt but I don't ah so bright okay well, Halloween it is So I have this uh, heat bond fusing that I think I'm going to use for this top strip here. That's actually a good length. I'm just going to cut off a little strip of it. I'm going with this because I have it. I had it for a different project I never used it for. What I would normally use, I use this on almost everything. Fabric, projects. It's kind of like instant epoxy. Like the texture it, it sets as is like a soft epoxy. But it's like, look it's hard eventually. It's really durable, lasts forever. I would have just dabbed along here, been nice and quick. This will be quick too, but I'm out of this. And the only thing I have other than that is like this clear gel glue that would take forever to dry, and then hot glue, which I only have the sparkly silver. So we are going to use the hot glue for the bottom part. But I figured to save some of the hot glue, we'll use the fusing.
there we go. There is our little, we could, you could use this for anything. Pencils, pens, colored pencils, any kind of sticky type art material. There we go. It wasn't as quick as I thought because the fusing didn't work and I know that when my phone sideways like this I have a hard time looking at the right spot on the camera. Forgive me. But yeah, it turned out good. The glue worked just fine. It just took 10 minutes to dry. Just being impatient, I guess. But it took 10 minutes to try the fusing that didn't work, so could have just gone with the glue from the beginning. Anyway, hope everyone had a had a good holiday season. We have lots of snow on the ground here. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video, at least a little bit. Have a great day. Bye, YouTube.